Greetings, spooky fans! Michael here, and real quick before we get the video started, I just wanted to share with you all that my YouTube channel is now officially 10 years old. I just wanted to say a quick thank you for all the love and support over the past decade. You guys have helped turn little 14-year-old awkward stage Michael's dream into the best job ever. But enough sappy stuff, let's talk about the focus of this video, shiny Pokemon. As someone who has done quite a lot of on-camera shiny hunting, I am regularly asked about my thoughts and opinions on certain shiny Pokemon. What my favorite one is, what my favorite one in a certain region is, what my favorite one of a certain type is, and all sorts of very specific qualifiers. So due to the fact that I get asked those questions all the time, and I've also never made a video discussing my favorite shiny Pokemon across all Pokemon, not just a specific category, I decided to make this video my top 50 favorite shiny Pokemon. Also, as an extra fun thing, for all of these shinies or their pre-evolutions that I have found on camera, I will play the reaction after I discuss that shiny. So don't forget to leave a like on the video, and let's get started with my top 50 shiny Pokemon. Number 50 is Clawitzer. The bright red contrasted with the blue and white is a really vibrant, cool combination. You can still hatch 28 magic. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Number 49 is Mighty Yenna. I love that it's silver coloring turned golden, like an upgrade from a silver medal to a gold medal. Also, the vibrant blue eyes really pop. Number 48 is Breloom. When a grass type's shiny version has an autumnal color scheme that's really vibrant and doesn't just look dead, I'm probably gonna like it. And Breloom's shiny is one of the best examples of this done right. Being around them all the time is going to- OH YES! Oh, YES! That scared me. Yes! Yes! Finally, sorry! <laughs> Number 47 is Embor. I don't really like Embor, but the purple and blue flames look so freaking cool. Number 46 is Poipol. The yellow and white coloring make it look like an electric type, and I love the electric type, and also Poipol. Number 45 is Vikavolt. The sleek silver contrasted with the bright red face and electric green accents is such a fantastic combination. Good night. Thanks. Holy crap! What? <laughs> <gasps> Number 44 is Gallade. Blue is my favorite color, so turning one of my favorite Pokemon blue is going to be something that I'm usually in favor of. Number 43 is Heatmore. Heatmore is a weird Pokemon, but making its shiny look more burnt and ashen is such a cool progression. Number 42 is Superior. The blue works really well with Superior, and I sometimes find myself wishing that this was its normal coloring. It's more unique. Number 41 is Toucanon. Changing Toucanon's beak from warm colors to cool colors is a fantastic contrast. Wait. What? <laughs> what? I can't believe it! Number 40 is Bisharp. Like with Gallade, a nice royal blue Pokemon is gonna look good to me. Number 39 is Haxorus. The dark coloring makes it look more intimidating and fearsome, which is great for such an intimidating and fearsome Pokemon. $148.25. Oh, yes, I got the shiny! Oh Justin, I got the shiny! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Justin, are you still there? I'm the lucky! <laughs> <laughs> Number 38 is Halucha. This color scheme is a wild mess but it's so different from normal Halucha that I can't help but respect it. Number 37 is Gudra. The pale yellow contrasted with purple is a nice combination of complementary colors. Also, shiny Gudra slash Gumi is my fiance Jubilee's favorite shiny, so it's grown on me a lot due to that as well. Oh my! You got no! a shiny Gumi! No! No! Yes, oh! why are you saying no? This is, yes! this is best case scenario. Number 36 is Trevenant. This color scheme looks like Japanese red maples, which is incredibly cool. Number 35 is Trico. Trico is my favorite starter, so the sentimental attachment combined with the nice reddish tail and teal coloring makes me like it a lot. Also, it's one of the few examples of the 3D model having more saturated colors than the 2D sprites. Also, I should say that I like Trico's shiny more than Sceptile's. Sceptile's shiny coloring just isn't as vibrant and the colors just seem a bit more washed out. Number 34 is Nidoking. Another situation of a cool Pokemon turning a nice blue color. 
Oh, yes! Oh, my God! Oh, there it is! Oh, there it is! Already! Oh, my God! Number 33 is Drift Blim. This shiny is like Poi Pole. The color change makes it look like an electric type, which looks great. Number 32 is Turtwig. The lime green contrasted with the teal is a really nice combo. Number 31 is Grottle. Grottle is in the same situation as Turtwig, but with a more drastic and noticeable contrast due to the lime green being more prominent. Number 30 is Sand Slash. The bright red spikes look freaking fantastic. It just looks so cool following you and let's go. Aww. Boom. Oh, shiny! shiny! Where? Oh my god, you're right, you're right! <laughs> it just appeared, you have time. Number 29 is Spiritomb. The face and orbs of Spiritomb stand out more in the color scheme, making it look a lot more intimidating. Oh my god! Yes! Yes! Ah! Finally! Number 28 is Aegislash. This color scheme makes it look like the highest ranking Aegislash in the Royal Guard. Black, yellow, and red is such a badass regal color combination. Number 27 is Seviper. I love how much the lime green just pops out from the primarily dark coloring. And of course, I'm always gonna be a fan of some tasteful blue accents. Oh my god, yes, yes, I knew it. I freaking knew it was gonna be some Viper, let's go. Number 26 is Scolipede. My favorite thing about shiny Scolipede is how much the rings pop out way more with this color scheme than normal. You can barely see them on normal Scolipede, but now they really catch your eye. But that's enough for another- Oh! Shiny Whirlapede! Are you lucky? Yes! Number 25 is Tyrantrum. Surprise, another awesome Pokemon that turns a nice shade of blue. Number 24 is Greninja. This color scheme makes Greninja look a lot more like a ninja and therefore way more fearsome. Bring my PS4. Oh my God! We got Frog in here! Let's go! Yes! Yes! Oh, it looks sick! Number 23 is Suicune. The beautiful royal blue of its mane and the pale blue of its body is a fantastic representation of water. I find myself wishing that this was its normal coloring. Number 22 is Heliolisk. The bright red combined with the yellow just works fantastically for Heliolisk's primarily desert theme. All right, we got- Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Number 21 is Lycanroc Midday Form. While the Midnight Form's blue shiny is closer to the blue that I consider my favorite, I both like Midday Form better and think the paler blue works well, making it look more like a winter wolf. Oh, and we got the Rock Ruff! Let's go! What a spicy couple of minutes! <laughs> Number 20 is Decidueye. Merry Christmas, this thing is beautiful. Number 19 is Umbreon. Blue and black is probably my favorite color scheme, so that on my favorite evolution looks extra awesome. It's funny because- Oh yes! Oh! Shiny Eevee! Finally! Nice! Finally! Number 18 is Zerua. Again, blue and black. But Zerua's blue is more neon. It really stands out and just looks fantastic. Purplish pinkish though. Oh, yes! Yes! <laughs> Let's go! Number 17 is Lunala. Shiny Lunala looks like it flew straight out of hell, which is awesome. The ominous crimson glow of it just looks so amazing. Number 16 is Cobalion. Another royal blue shiny with some nice lime green accents. It's really dope. Not shiny and... Oh my god! What? What? Yes! Number 15 is Naganadal. The black and yellow make it look like a yellow jacket, which is a badass progression for a Pokemon with a giant stinger. Number 14 is Excelgore. This color scheme looks so much better than regular Excelgore's does. The yellow and red complement each other nicely, and I much prefer the gray body over the slightly blue one of the normal Excelgore coloring. It doesn't clash with the head coloring as much. Number 13 is Giratina. The bright blue popping out from the dark wings and chest stripe just looks fantastic. The silver coloring also accents it nicely. The rest you don't need to type it. Oh my god, I got it! Oh my god! Yes! Yes! Number 12 is Palisand. 
Having the Sandcastle Pokemon turn black as a nod to black sand beaches is absolutely brilliant. Number 11 is Charizard. Charizard was already badass, but then they made it dark with red wings and that really advanced it into almost demonic territory, which looks amazing. You guys in Texas so- Oh my God! Go. Oh my God, John, shiny Charmander! Oh my God, oh, I was so, whoo, I can be happy for you and my life isn't ruined. Number 10 is Luxray. Changing only the blue part of Luxray to be yellow, a perfect representation of its typing, was the best possible shiny version for this already amazing Pokemon. Number nine is Golisopod. I'm not a fan of Golisopod's normal coloring. It just seems pretty bland to me. But this pure white color scheme accented with bright blue and a deep red face mask makes it stand out in a fantastic way. Number eight is Metagross. A steel type Pokemon becoming silver and gold is extremely logical and ideal. And it's extra great that this change is on my favorite steel type. Oh! No, your luck is ridiculous. Number seven is Braviary. Another example of a great Pokemon gaining a really nice blue coloring but this works extra well for Braviary since it's the Murica Pokemon. Oh! oh my god! Oh! oh no! There we go! Oh! Number six is Ho-Oh, my favorite shiny legendary. It's a Johto rep with a gold and silver color scheme. Can you get more poetic than that? Number five is Golurk. I think making Golurk's body more gray in color works really well for its automaton inspiration, but they didn't just do that. They also added lime green accents to make it stand out. That is fantastic. Number four is Chestnut. This is the best shiny starter, no contest. This color scheme works so well for Chestnut. So much so that if this was its normal color scheme instead of the washed out beige that it usually has, Chestnut might have surpassed Greninja as my favorite Kalos starter. Don't freak out, I said might have. Before I cover the final three, I just wanted to let you guys know that for a while when people would ask me what my favorite shiny Pokemon was, I would tell them that it was a three-way tie between these next three Pokemon. I just wanted to share that so that you know that these next three are really, really close. Number three is Gigalith. Gigalith is one of my all-time favorite Pokemon, so that combined with the gorgeous electric blue crystals that just look absolutely incredible is gonna make it one of my all-time favorite shinies. They are considered canon by the creators. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Ah, I got it! I got the oh! shiny! Oh! Oh! Yes! <laughs> Number two is Gliscor. Like Gigalith, Gliscor is one of my all-time favorite Pokemon. So one of my all-time favorites, having a color scheme that's primarily blue and also matches my YouTube channel's color scheme is of course gonna be something that I love. I should note that it looks a lot better in the 2D sprites though, since the blue is a lot more saturated. Like, oh! <laughs> Yes! Holy crap! Yes! No way! No way! <gasps> And number one is Minior. This is the most brilliant shiny in the entire game. How do you make a shiny for a Pokemon that can normally be found in seven different colors? You just combine all of them. And they didn't just make it a messy mix, they made it primarily black, a neutral color, with speckles of all the other colors. It is tasteful, gorgeous, and my favorite shiny. Man, I really need to shiny hunt one of these. But you can't SOS it which means I'd either have to random encounter it or Masuda method it. And neither of those sound fun. So there we have it. Those are my top 50 favorite shiny Pokemon. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you're interested in seeing me do some shiny hunts live, you should definitely follow me on Twitch, link in the description below. And if you're interested in seeing more of my fun Pokemon YouTube videos, I recommend this one right here. All right, that's all I have for now. So till next time, big fans. Gotta catch them all!